There's in the Watcher's Grave on Nessus. Currently selling an armor set that we haven't seen in a while. It is the Lost Pacific armor set for each class. And I highly suggest you scoop this armor up if you're going for an astronaut look. It is in the Whirlpool, but if you guys don't have it, considering the Whirlpool is usually really bad at giving you what you want, then I highly suggest you pick this up. Again, this is a like a good astronaut armor set that, that you can go with. Uh, the boots are also really good for the hunters, considering it gives a, a pretty good like non-armor almost look uh, the only armor piece is on the knees if I remember correctly the helmet is a really good helmet for astronauts as well or just uh, that type of feel and the stats on it are pretty decent on some of these considering like this one specifically I would actually scoop this up for a grenade build and that's pretty much it this one's okay but again uh, you probably have better uh, pieces than this as for the Titans the Titans is also pretty cool armor wise i think my favorite part is probably the boots just because the boots are very minimal armor pieces so that's the the legs i use for my non-armor titan but the helmet's also pretty good i it would pair better with a, a big chest piece but the arms are also pretty good as well in my opinion the stats on them on um, are pretty like i think this is the only good one other than that everything else has too high of a mobility for me uh this one's definitely the best because it has a lot uh because it has high resilience and recovery is already at 17 which is pretty good so this is probably the only one that i would scoop up if you are interested in that last but not least for the warlocks themselves for the warlocks themselves they have a pretty good armor set as well i think the only really good viable piece for the armor uh look wise is the helmet unfortunately i think everything else is just either boring or basic uh, maybe the chest piece if if you're going for that specific look but i think the helmet is just the best part from the whole thing uh, as for the stats we're looking at 25 recovery for the arms which is not bad it's actually pretty good and if you put an intellect mod on that it's a 20 22 so 25 22 that's pretty good uh, the arms are 18 to 18 and 25 and that's pretty good uh, especially if you go for just all in recovery then a 28 which turns into a 30 if you master work it and then a 27 master work as well for the intellect that's pretty good uh, for the helmet it's bad and this is okay if you're doing a melee build I guess uh, I don't know this one's pretty terrible as well uh, but yeah that's pretty much it for the armor again like i said just definitely scoop it up if you have it not only that um, for the for the end part you, you do have good weapons nine hunger definitely want to see this definitely get this if you don't have it uh feet subsistence and demolitionist is really good and these will proc off of each other so subsistence you'll be getting more kills the more you kill stuff or you'll be getting more ammo the more you kill and then grenades you'll be getting more grenade energy from the kills that you get which means that once you throw a grenade, you can reload your weapon and then it just kind of goes back and forth. So these, this is pretty fire. I would definitely recommend this one. Uh, Cold Denial with, with Grave Robber and Swashbuckler, which is pretty interesting. Uh, it's a high impact frame, so it's already doing a little bit more damage, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if, if Grave Robber and Swashbuckler is gonna be really viable on this one, but I would still scoop it up just in case you don't have it. Uh, seventh Seraph CQC is pretty good uh, considering it has a full choke, tactical mag, quick draw, and vorpal. This is a pretty good PVE weapon, but also don't don't uh, frown on it on PVP because vorpal weapon it does what 10 percent, uh, 10 percent I think, no, 15 percent still, somewhere around there. It still does the same basic uh, damage that it did for for uh, the the uh, pre vorpal weapon nerf or whatever this is pretty good i would recommend this one because uh this is actually the weapon that i used to solo the first boss for the prophecy dungeon uh Iclos is fine uh this is terrible and then this is also terrible so that's pretty much it i haven't seen the armors for damn winter's guile wow wow that's a lot damn fuck this is pretty good uh melee kills increase melee damage as well so this is really good if you have a specific i'm gonna pick these up actually this is really good if you're doing a specific build for melees but you also want to be alive well this is actually really good i would recommend this one this one no and then this one no lucky raspberry is just pretty terrible and mask of the quiet one no matter how many people say it's going to be meta next season it probably will not be meta so be safe let me know what you guys think and i will see you guys later